Greetings on this Labor Day, September the 2nd, 2024. Welcome to the Daily Article Podcast. I'm Chris Elkins, narrating today's article, written by Denison Forum co-founder and CEO, Dr. Jim Denison. This is how former Ohio State football player Cameron Babb described his life before coming to faith in Christ. I was spiritually dead. I could go out there and I could smile and laugh, but on the inside... I was broken. Babb was one of several athletes who led a recent worship service for as many as a thousand people. By the end of the night, at least 60 people were baptized as believers. Consider the unseen consequences of this remarkable event, not just the eternal souls who escaped hell for the joy of heaven, but the ripple effects of those who will share with others what they experienced. For years to come, people who were not present at the service will be impacted by those who were. On this Labor Day, I'd like to reflect on the fact that we cannot measure the eternal consequences of present faithfulness. This is just one reason why serving Jesus gives our work and empowering significance found nowhere else. The law of unintended consequences works the other way as well, sometimes tragically. For example, Israel has recovered the bodies of six hostages killed by Hamas in Gaza, including an Israeli-American captive. According to the IDF, they were murdered before they could be rescued, another consequence of Hamas's brutal hatred for Israel. Tens of thousands of Israelis surged into the streets last night, demanding that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu reach a ceasefire with Hamas to bring the remaining captives home. In other news, NHL star Johnny Godot and his brother were killed in a bike crash after being struck by a suspected drunk driver. They were set to be groomsmen at their sister's wedding the next day, a celebration she has now canceled. Johnny leaves a wife, a two-year-old daughter, and a seven-month-old son. His brother Matthew is survived by his wife, who is pregnant with their first child. When the driver who caused the crash allegedly chose to drink and then drive, he could not know the unimaginable devastation that would result. I could go on, unfortunately, but you understand the point. So much of life is the consequence of unintended consequences for good or for evil. How then can we live and work in ways that glorify God and bless others? Let's take three biblical steps. One, stay connected to our source. The spiritual genius Oswald Chambers observed, A river touches places of which its source knows nothing, and Jesus says if we have received of his fullness, however small the visible measure of our lives, out of us will flow rivers that will bless to the utmost part of the earth. His wisdom reflected that of our Lord from John 15 verse 5. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me... You can do nothing. A branch bears fruit only through its connection with the vine. In the same way, we can make an eternal difference only if the eternal God works through our temporal lives. This connection is available to all believers by God's grace. St. Jerome advised us, Do not despair of his mercy, no matter how great your sins, for great mercy will take away great sins. The key to eternal significance is less our ability than our availability to the Holy Spirit. So stay connected to our source. Two, work with excellence. At the same time, we are urged by Scripture in Colossians 3, verses 23 and 24. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. As we work, God works. When we do our best, we position ourselves to experience His best. St. Augustine encouraged us, quote, Let us live so as to be worthy of God's great grace and not do injury to it. So mighty is the physician who has come to us that he has healed all our sins. If we choose to be sick again, we will not only harm ourselves, but show ingratitude to the physician as well, end quote. So we can live and work in ways that glorify God and bless others by, one, staying connected to our source, two, working with excellence, and three, measure success by faithfulness. To quote Oswald Chambers again, 
Be rightly related to God, find your joy there, and out of you will flow rivers of living water. The lives that have been of most blessing to you are those who are unconscious of it. End quote. This is true to life on two levels. Some of those who influence us died before us. Oswald Chambers died more than 40 years before I was born. C.S. Lewis died when I was five years old. Neither had any way to know that their work would influence my life and work every day. Not to mention the previous generations who shaped our nation and daily lives in innumerable ways. Others impact us in the present without being present to us. I'm thinking not just of the scientists, doctors, and political leaders, but the spiritual influencers who cannot know how their lives and work impact us. I'm confident you could name many such examples, as can I. Paul Powell, a pastor and writer whose ministry lives on in the multiplied thousands he impacted, offers a maxim that makes my point. Plant trees we will never sit under and dig wells from which we will never drink. On this Labor Day, would you pause to give thanks for those who planted your tree and dug your well? Then, would you resolve to pay forward their faithfulness to the glory of God? Listeners like you support Denison Forum's mission to deliver news discerned differently. As a ministry nonprofit, we are fully donor supported. To partner with us, please donate today using the donate link in our show notes.